Hey guys, so I posted a video with Mo Nussbaum of the Ohio Department of Commerce about how to legally install a manufactured home in Ohio. And uh, someone who I was connected with on LinkedIn, never spoken to before, um, but someone who I was connected with saw the video on LinkedIn. Uh, his name is Rod Renna, who specializes in buying and selling used mobile homes and manufactured homes in Florida and other parts of the Southeast. Uh, he commented on the video, you know, just pointing out how important it is to follow the rules and know um, how to legally buy, sell, move and install manufactured homes because um, it's different in all states. Um, but it is important to do your homework because you can get yourself or whoever buys the home into a lot of trouble. And in this video, um, you know, I connected with Rod Renna just to get his expert opinion on, you know, his business, how to do things legally and, uh, and, and more. So I hope that you enjoy this video and please feel free to reach out. Um, you know, he's in the business like you and he gets um, a lot of people that either need homes or they're asking questions about mobile homes because so many people don't know what they're doing. And um, that's why we started even a separate company on the side, mhtitlebrokers.com. And that's to help people through title issues. Investors, wholesalers, they're flipping homes and they don't understand about wind zones and titles. So we get all these people calling in. They're like, oh my God, there's no HUD plate on here. And I just bought this for 30,000. I'm like, you bought a $30,000 home and it has no HUD plate and the title has a lien. And I'm like, uh, okay, so th these are the kind of deals that we've been going through a lot, trying to help people out of these, uh, mostly investors, wholesalers, stuff like that. Dude, you gotta learn about all this. This is, this, this is one of the nichiest little industries, not just buying and selling mobile home parks, which everybody, you know, is they're all after, I get it. It's just, but for mobile homes themselves, there's so much, I mean, so many different affordable housing. I don't know what it's like in Ohio, but you know, out here in Florida, it's nuts. I mean, people have nowhere to go. I, we have properties where there's homeless people camping in back of the property land, line, building tents to live. I mean, that's in central Florida and that's happening everywhere. People don't have places to live and it's forcing people to get the home, secure homes and try to sell them to people who are on their last dime and they're selling them the wrong homes. They, there's, I mean, every home has titles. They have to have a HUD plate if they were built after the middle of 1976 or newer. So after mm -hmm. June of 76, you have to make sure there's a physical hub plate located in the, usually on the width side of the home, just above the skirting. It's a little three inch metal plate. You gotta check that with the wind zone inside the house. People don't do that. That's the most basic, simple thing you could do. Get a hub plate connected to the, make sure the HUD matches the wind zone sticker in the back and in, in the uh, usually in the master bedroom closet, the little window sticker. And now so the wind zone sticker. Now, a lot of times they paint and they remodel the houses and you can't find that. So then you have to take other avenues to check the HUD plate, because if it's not a wind zone in Florida, you have to have a wind zone too. In Ohio, I believe it's a one. Um, so in, in Florida, I couldn't take something from Ohio and move it to Florida because it was a great deal. It'll never legally install out here. And people are really getting tripped up on these things. And now that it's such a hot commodity, hot business, man, everybody's buying, selling, which they also really shouldn't do. You have to be, you know, we're used mobile home brokers. There is such a thing. You have to look into getting that. If you're going to do multiple homes, it helps your brand. It helps you have a little bit of, uh, you know, you're not some... Joe Schmo with the little, you know, with the karate t-shirt like I'm wearing right now. Uh, the, <laughs> I, was thinking, I was thinking we're doing this without the film. But um, yeah, I mean, you really got to be careful of what you're buying and what you're getting into because there's so many people with so much troubles right now. That's what I, when I wrote with you on LinkedIn, if you look at, those are real stories where people getting completely screwed over by investors that are like, yeah, buy this home, it'll be perfect. Wait a minute, he needs newer than 1995 to be installed on his land. You just sold him his last $20,000 home, plus 10,000 in delivery charges, uh, tear down transportation and setup. This guy's in trouble now. And, and this yeah. is happening widespread right now. And that's why we did the MH title broker to help people with stuff. And um, it helps us too, because most of the homes that we're finding, as I saw, it's one of the things you wanted to talk about, the homes that we find, a lot of them online, 
but we also have a good reputation now. We've been doing this for a real long time, so we get people calling in all the time. You got to be really careful what you're buying, it, without question, is really what it comes down to.